Okay, hi there. Welcome to a micro video uh, which links to the theory of demand. We're going to take a, a few minutes to focus on substitute and complementary goods. So you'll come across these two types of products, uh, substitutes and complements, when you cover cross price elasticity of demand in your introductory microeconomics. So what are substitutes? Well, they're basically two alternative products that could be used for the same purpose. And we say that they're products that are in competitive demand. If you buy more of one, you'll probably buy less of another. Uh, they're competing for your limited budget. Let's take an increase in the price of a good S will lead to a contraction in the demand for good S. And this might then cause some consumers to switch their demand to a rival product, Good Tea. Uh, this is because the relative price of Good Tea, whatever it is, has gone down, and so some people will switch. Hence, an increase in the price of Good S leads to an increase in the demand for Good Tea. Therefore, the cross-price elasticity of demand for two substitutes is positive. And here are some examples of substitutes. Classic examples of the genre, tea and coffee, your choice of smartphone brand, uh, which rival uh, ride sharing app you decide to use, intense competition increasingly in the supermarkets in the UK, your choice of viewing and online streaming platforms. And of course, the classic one is the, the choice of different brands of cereal in a supermarket. Uh, three evaluation points uh, to think about with substitutes. Always worth thinking about the cost of substitution. So you might be thinking about switching to a, a different brand when there's been a price change, but there could also be a switching cost uh, for consumers. There might be a contractual obligation, so some sort of delay or penalty payment you might want to think about. Secondly, uh, there's a difference in the degree of substitution. So some products are close substitutes. They can perform very similar functions for you. They tend to have a high positive cross price elasticity. Your choice of breakfast cereal, for example, or your choice of you know instant porridge. Other products tend to be weaker substitutes, particularly when consumer and brand loyalty is high. People don't change their spending when the relative price changes. Complements are products that are bought together. Okay, so Typically, you buy them and then use them together. And a fall in the price of good X will lead to more people buying good X. And they might then also increase their spending on good Y, which is a complement to good X. Hence, we say that complements are said to be in joint demand or complementary demand. And uh, if we think about a fall in the price of good X leading to an increased demand for good Y, if the two products are complements, that gives a negative cross price elasticity of demand for two complements. Loads of examples, fish and chips. Uh, if you buy a smartphone, the apps you download, solar panels and batteries, increasingly common in, in households which are generating their own energy, pasta and pasta sauces, shoes and polish, and flights and taxi services. Things that you tend to buy and consume jointly at a period in time. Uh, an application of complementary products is the idea of product bundling. And many, many businesses understand that complements are bought together. Uh, product bundling is when you offer a combination or a bundle of products that are sold together at what appears to be an attractive discount. The key advantage of product bundling is when consumers purchase more products at once, and therefore the average order value also goes up. And classic examples would be where TV channels bundle various channels together uh, as a part of a package deal. And of course, the lunchtime favorite staple product at the moment is the meal deal offered by virtually every supermarket and uh, fast food chain. That This market, by the way, the lunchtime food industry is worth more than 20 billion pounds a year. And so the meal deal has become ubiquitous across the UK and beyond. In fact, meal deals have almost become the default option for millions of people on a daily basis. Complementary goods, cross-price elasticity of demand in action. 